I read an article that they were trying to implement these bulletproof vests for kids that are in school. And uh, I forgot the actual school that started this. And I'll try to leave a link in the description box if you guys want to read, read more on it. But um, when I read the article, first of all, when you look at the picture, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, a, it's sad, but it's a little comical. I, I would say it's sad because we've come to the point where kids can't even go to school and learn. You know, you, you have to have a bulletproof vest. In your, in your locker, okay, you know, and, and what's funny about it is that when you look at the bulletproof vest, it's not that thick, you know, and I know that uh, uh, bulletproof vests are not extremely thick, but they look a little thicker than this right here, and this doesn't really look like it will stop somebody with an AK-47 trying to put a bullet in your ass, but that's just my opinion, but, um, I think what the real underlying issue is that we need to start talking about things that are really going on in society in these high schools. One of the things that um, you know I enjoyed when I got to college opposed to high school is that when I got to college, I was able to pick certain electives and certain classes that I wanted to take that I was interested in, you know, whether it was from business or, or um, you know, finance or so on and so on. But I think in high school... They kind of, they kind of take kids now and they kind of lab rat, uh, rat them and they what they do is they say okay well this is the this is the standard of what you have to hold yourself up to these are the amount of credit you have to get and these are your electives these are small electives that you can choose from and then you have requirement classes and you know some of the classes that I always thought need to be in high school is uh, you know peer pressure. Bullying. I think uh, people need to learn more about credit because credit nowadays is very important. If you have horrible credit, it's hard for you to even get a, a raggedy ass apartment somewhere. You know, it, credit is very important, especially in today's time with the economy crashing. But uh, you know, even relationships. You know, and, and just dealing with the opposite sex. And I think that a lot of kids nowadays. The school system is trying to kind of keep them in this 1960s and 70s mode with this Walt Disney stuff. And we live in a completely different generation now. You got people coming into the schools. You know, like that uh, Elliot Rogers cat coming into the schools shooting people for the hell of it because they can't get no ass. Or because nobody will play with them. Or because they're getting bad grades. Or because they have things going on at home. And, you know, I just think that investing in bulletproof vests and having kids kneel down like this if a joker decide to come into the classroom or come into the school and start blowing everybody away i don't think this is really going to protect children i think if we're going to be more logical about the issue we need to start inventing certain um i would say counseling you know for kids where they can come in and talk about things you know have classes that really touch bases on what children are dealing with nowadays you know not what you think they're dealing with but what's going on now that you know from sex uh, you know uh, uh, um, relationships um finance you know so on and so on even things that might be going on at home because a lot of times you know kids come to school and you know you you, you bring things that are going on at home whether it's, it's drama whether it's frustration whether you have a financial issues whether you're stressed out you come to school and you have to perform at a certain level and a lot of kids don't want to expose certain things because then you have social social services coming in your home kicking your door down trying to take you away from your parent or your parents so these are issues that we deal with and i can remember being in school dealing with certain things at home you know, whether it's from financial or just, you know, personal things that I was going through. And I had to go to school and I had to perform, you know, and, and I and I had to, you know, act like I care about, you know, Albert Einstein and algebra and shit or them teaching me this bullshit history that I'm not interested in. Or I had to learn about Christopher Columbus, a man who, who slaughtered millions of people and basically got away with it. So, you know, you have to go and you have to basically put on this act as if, you care about a lot of this stuff because that's what the standard, the, the, excuse me, the curricular, uh, I can't get that word out, but the, uh, the criteria of what they expect children to know and, and, and the type of standard that they want children to be at. So, you know, in my personal opinion, I don't think that this is really the answer. I think they need more security. 
I think there needs to be classes and counseling that really target what children are going through nowadays, you know, and, and we have older people that are running a system of old school tendencies, you know, it's, it's a new day and time now, you know, technology has advanced, um, you know, people have somewhat advanced, you know, um, it, it's just, it's a different time, and you have to adapt to the time, it's almost like, you know, an artist that came out in, in, in the 90s, what worked for you in the 90s is not necessarily going to work for you right now because the game has changed. And it's the same with the school system. It's the same with, um, you know, racism. And I, I talk about that all the time, how, you know, racism is more institutionalized now. It's not always in front of you. Hey, nigger, I don't like you. It's not always like that. You know, it's more institutionalized. You know, everything is it's different now. It's not the way it was uh, 10, 20, 30 years ago. But, you know, that's my... my personal opinion on this. I don't think this is really the answer. I think it's a waste of tax dollars. And I think that uh, people need to really pay attention. Instead of paying attention always to what's going on in, in, in the south side of Chicago or um, south central LA or, or, or Compton or what's going on in Philadelphia or down south in the vines that go on and quote unquote urban communities. I think they need to talk about what's actually going on within today's kids. And don't just target those communities, but target, you know, these, these middle class, upper class communities. Because when we look at it, these are the other uh, schools that are being targeted for jokers coming in and, and shooting people at random will. These are the schools that have that issue. So it's not just always an economical thing. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a social thing that's going on right now. It's a parenting issue that I always talk about. And I just think that... People need to wake up, snap out of it, and really understand what's going on with today's society and what's going on with today's children. Because we do not live in a Walt Disney world. You know, it, it's, it's real stuff going on out here. And 5, 10, 15 years from now, these are the people who are going to be running a lot of these countries. Uh, excuse me, not a lot of these countries. I don't know why I said that, but a lot of these companies. And, you know, are going to be running the world. This is the future right here. And if we don't grasp a hold of these kids right now and we don't we don't tackle the, this femininity stuff that's going on within today's uh, um, young males out here or, or, or the women acting like men with this masculine with these masculine qualities and we don't tackle that right now I hate to see where we're going to be 15 20 years from now but that's my opinion on you guys can give me your opinion on um, if you even feel like this whole <laughs> Hiding under a, a plastic bulletproof vesting is even even worth it. But I'm out. Peace. Well, let's just wake up out here.